Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ganga. I am consultant nephrologist at Sri Narayani Hospital and Research Centre, Vellore. I am here today to talk to you all about renal biopsy. What is renal biopsy? Renal biopsy is a test done by a nephrologist where a small tissue of the kidney, a thread sized tissue of the kidney is taken from the lower end of the kidney through a needle and it is sent for testing. The testing is done using a microscope where the status of your kidney and what disease has affected your kidney is seen and the disease is ascertained. Now, when do we ask for a renal biopsy? Generally, when a patient presents to us with frothy urine, which means that patient is passing protein in urine or when patient is passing blood in urine or because of some reason patient has increased creatinine for which the cause cannot be found out. In these conditions, we first send the patient for an ultrasound scan of the kidney and if the scan reveals normal kidney size which is around 9 to 10 cm, then we go ahead and plan a kidney biopsy. So what is the use of doing this kidney biopsy is, first and foremost, we understand what is the cause of the kidney disease and hence it will help us in the treatment and also to tell about the disease nature. Second is, it also shows us if there is any scarring in kidney. Any long term disease process can cause scarring in the kidney and this scarring in the kidney can be known only through biopsy. And the final reason is, we will know if it is reversible, if the kidney disease, whatever is uh, we have obtained through the biopsy, the result obtained through the biopsy, we will know whether the disease is reversible or if it is irreversible. So these are the causes. Now what are the prerequisites that is required for kidney biopsy? First and foremost, like I already mentioned, the kidney size should be normal that we see through the kidney scan, through the USG scan of the kidneys. Second is patient should have hemoglobin of at least 10 and platelet count should be normal. And the blood pressure should be well controlled. It should be less than 150 by 90. And finally, if the patient is on any blood thinners, the doctor might stop it, the nephrologist might stop it prior to the procedure as one of the complications of procedure is bleeding and it can increase the risk of bleeding. Okay, so coming to the procedure. Generally, we admit the patient prior to the day of the procedure. On the procedure day morning, we make sure that the patient's blood pressure is all right and we take the patient to the biopsy room. The biopsy is done under the guidance of a USG machine or a scan machine so that complications can be minimized. Here at Narayani Hospital also, we are using a scan machine or a USG machine to do renal biopsy. Now, what happens is the patient is asked to lie down on the belly. The patient is completely awake during procedure. We do not use any form of general anesthesia. However, local anesthesia, that is a liquid that will make the patient not have any pain at the site of biopsy is used. Once that is injected into the site where the biopsy is taken, the, the biopsy needle is passed and a small tissue is taken from the kidney which is taken out and further sent for testing. The whole procedure lasts for about 10 to 15 minutes and generally will cause very less pain. Now, what are the complications that we expect from the procedure? The most important and the most frequently seen complication is pain. Pain can be quite mild and it can be at the site of biopsy and it can last for about one to two days. Second most important complication is bleeding. So kidney is a vascular structure as in many blood vessels are passing in the kidney. So when we do biopsy, we might inadvertently hit one of the blood vessels which can bleed. So this blood can come into the urine which can appear as blood in urine or it can get collected around the kidney. Now what happens post procedure? Post procedure, the patient is kept in the hospital and is asked to have a strict bed rest for six hours. This is to avoid the complication that I told earlier that is bleeding. Patient is asked to collect three consecutive urine samples 
and once we make sure that there is no blood in urine, patient can be discharged after 24 hours. Once the patient goes home, we advise them to remove the plaster after 24 hours after which they can have a bath and also we advise them to avoid any strenuous activity or lifting heavy weights for a period of one week. We also tell them to report to the hospital in case of any blood in urine or any giddiness or any abdominal pain. So this is about renal biopsy. It is a simple procedure, does not have much complications and it is an invaluable tool in diagnosis of kidney diseases. Thank you.